Welcome back to Real Life Reviews and in this video we're going to take a look at some sunglasses particularly for riding your bike. Uh, these are the Rudy Project Cutline glasses and I've been using them for a little over two months now and I can put my hand on my heart and say they've now become my go-to glasses when I get on the bike. Um, I'll tell you particularly why in a moment. But first of all, let's just look at the glasses themselves. When these glasses arrive, they come with a nice pouch, a cleaning pouch and storage pouch, but they also come with a really good hard case for protection. So when you're traveling, no, no worries about them getting damaged in transit. Put them in the case, put them in your bag, no problem at all. A great feature of these glasses is that they're they're hugely modular. You can, all the bumpers and parts come off, you can change them, you can get different colors, uh, even the inserts in the arms. And I'll show you this when I look at changing the lenses, because uh, I've got another lens and I, I'll go through that with you. Uh, they're also actually incredibly light. I've weighed these with all the bumpers on at 35 grams, bang on. Um, bear in mind, you could take off the bumpers if you want rimless glasses, and there's, there's no real need to, um, and make them even lighter. Let's start properly though with the lens. And if I put the glasses on, you'll see that it's a wide shield lens. And if I tilt my head to the side, uh, you, you will see that they do wrap, but they're not a ridiculous wrap like some other glasses and I think these are a really good balance between being wide but not stupidly wide. Your peripheral vision, your field of view is excellent so despite the fact you haven't got this massive lens going around the side, the side bumpers don't get in the way. You're, it's a great field of view uh, and ditto the bumpers top and bottom and I'll say a little bit more about that in a moment. So yeah, great lens from that perspective. These are the photochromatic uh, Impact X lenses. So the Impact X are the ones that basically, <laughs> they're pretty unbreakable. Um, so uh, I've been wearing these an awful, awful lot at the moment because in the UK, we've gone out of summer, we're coming into winter, uh, it's autumn, winter. Um, we get some pretty cloudy days, we get some variation where the sun comes out and then the clouds come over. And these have worked absolutely brilliantly. I've got a pair of orange lenses for brighter days, I'll show you those in a minute and as I said um, I will get on to changing lenses. But what I'm impressed with is the clarity and the contrast in these lenses. They are they're really really good. Um, Anti-fog? Well I've had no issues at all. I'll, I'll just clarify that a little but I'm going to take them off and just try and show you that at the top of the lenses, um, I don't know if you can quite see, there are four vents, maybe if I turn them around as well, move to the side, there are four vents in the lens at the top, one, two, three, four, and there are also two vents in the bumper on the top. Now, the airflow from these, quite frankly, is brilliant. And I've had, on the bike, I've had absolutely no problem at all. And the only time I've come up with any fogging is when I've been working really hard, it's cold, it's wet, it's miserable. I've been working really hard and I come to a junction or traffic lights and I've got to stop and then there's an inevitable little bit of fogging. But the minute I start going, it clears really quickly. And in perspective, I don't think I've come across a pair of glasses that are as good as that when it comes to anti-fog. It's also helped that at the bottom, again if I move to the side and tilt them, you will see that there's a vent on either side at the bottom. So if you've got them pushed up against your face really tight, there's still an exit vent for the air to get some good airflow. So the optics are superb, but now the part that really does it for me with these glasses they are adjustable and grippy. So the arm pieces at the end can bend, so you can make them tighter or straighter, depending on your style. And also the nose piece, if I turn it round a bit, 
The nose piece, similarly, uh, also the gripper on the nose, you can push in and get it to fit. Now, yes, there are other glasses that do this, but where these, with their shape, do it for me, is I can put my glasses on and having just squeezed the nose, it's actually pretty much perfect there. And when I'm working on my tri bike in the TT position and I go on the road, I don't want to put my race helmet on. I'm not gonna look like a, yes, maybe in the week before a race, you get a bit of practice wearing the helmet, get the aero position right, get the little stumpy tail closer. But on day to day, when I'm doing a ride aero, I just want to wear a normal road helmet, aero-ish road helmet, but I want to get into that position. And what these glasses do is they enable me to get into that position with my head, looking up with my eyes, looking through, and I've got no barrier whatsoever in the way. And I've got airflow to stop fogging. So for me, they are the perfect glasses for aero practice with a road helmet on. It works, it just absolutely works. And it's the one thing that has absolutely sold these glasses for me. That adjustability, but the shape is perfect that they don't get in the way. Let's talk a little then about lens changing and the modularity, if that's a word, the modularity of these sunglasses. So when you get a spare lens, when you order a spare lens, then it comes in a nice soft bag. And here, as I mentioned before, I've got the orange, or burnt orange I like to call it, uh, which is really for bright days. The photochromatic I've got on at the moment are perfect for this time of year in the UK. So you can simply just get the lens and you can move the bits from your, the glasses you've got over to what you want. You can put the nose piece on, etc., or the whole um, bumper system. However, you can also buy varying modular kits to go with it. Uh, these are on the actual Rudy Project site, so if you've bought your glasses from somewhere else to another distributor, there's a good chance you might not find these, you might just get the lenses. These are on the Rudy Project site. Here I've got some blue, because um, I think they might contrast quite nicely and subtly with the orange. Now, first things first, when you open these packs, in the pack are two tiny screws. So just be careful that you don't lose them. Don't worry, I didn't. I'm warning you though. So I've carefully just laid out my kit and you can see at the top here, these are the bumpers for the bottom of the lenses. I've got a bumper for the top that's in that blue. I've got a nose piece. I've got two of the bendable ends to the arms. I've, there's my two mini screws. If you do lose them, don't worry because you're undoing screws if you're going to do the replacement there. And I've got two actual inserts for the arm. If I close this arm up a little, you'll see the Rudy Project insert. I can even change the color of that insert and swap those in and out if I want to. When it comes to actually changing lenses, well, it couldn't really be simpler in terms of the basic process. So if I bring this a bit closer, try and get that arm out of the way, then you will see that in here is a little button. Don't worry about the little torque screw in the middle, that's of no concern. To take the arm off, we simply press that button and remove it. It is as simple as that. Putting the arm back on is literally the opposite. It is a case of locating it in the right place, press the button, push it on, and make sure that it's clicked on and isn't going to come off. That simple. Fitting the nose piece is as simple as making sure that you get the adjustable part on the inside of the lens, taking the lens, lining the lens up with the groove that it needs to go to. And I'll just fiddle my fingers around a little bit here to get it right and get it in position. And then just pushing it up and you heard the click there and it's in. So there's my nose piece. 
And if I want to wear these as, as sort of rimless glasses, all I need to do now is put the arms on and I can wear them. If I now want to add the bumpers, well, it's a simple case of lining up, if you can see them, the holes that are on the lens, there's three of them, with the little indentations on the bumper. I start from the inside, get it the right way round, so I'm just lining up this corner with that first hole, and I'm just going to give him a little push and he's clipped on. From that point, I'm feeding it on, clip, pushing through, and last one, clip. There we go. All right. I perhaps could have been a little bit more um, aggressive with that, but trying to be careful. And that's one bumper on. Second bumper's now on, the top bumper, just as simple, making sure, first of all, that we get it uh, the right way round, and again, line it up. So I'm lining this up with the middle, there we are, and I'm now just going to carefully push it on and get it to engage there. Oh, that was easy. And just get it to engage and do the other side, and that's gone on as well. So I've now got all the bumpers on and if I don't want to change anything else, I can just add the arms as I showed you earlier. Should I want to be a little bit more colour coordinated, then the grippy bendy part of the arm, if I just carefully do it, wiggle it and pull, that just comes straight off. Then I take the corresponding arm piece and slide that on, straighten it a little bit, there we go, and push and that pops on and I've got the blue on there and I can do the same to the other side. If I want to stylize a little more then I can now change the insert, the Rudy Project insert. My little pack had a lovely little multi-tool with it uh, that's got a flat head, a Phillips and two uh, Torx heads with it. So I've got my own little mini screwdriver and all I do if I just turn this round, actually if I close that one and bring it closer you will see, I hope, that in here we have one little screw that we undo and again we could use that screw if we wanted. This is where I say it doesn't, isn't the end of the world if you lose your mini screws and we can replace the Rudy Project side as well. So when it comes to changing a lens now, I've got my summer lens set up for me. If I want to change that lens, well it is as simple as take off the arm, fit the arm on, and done. Um, yeah, brilliant. So here I am now with my very much mix and match. I've got them a little bit, I've not quite done the full change and everything, but I've got my mix and match uh, glasses that I can. There's my photochromatic. All I need to do is literally press a button and take the arms off, and I'm in my winter wear. Push a button and take the arms off, and I'm in my summer wear. There we have it then, the Rudy Project Cutline sunglasses. They are, they're light, fantastic optics, great peripheral vision, modular, you can adapt them as you want, but more importantly for me, they are effectively moldable with the nose piece and the arms, they enable me to work in an aero position, have no blockage to my vision, great airflow, no fogging up, and just, it's as simple as they do what I want them to do. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like, give it that thumbs up and share it with your friends. I've also put a link to the Rudy Project website in the description down below, alongside a link to Wiggle, who we support, but also if you buy anything through them, we get a tiny percentage. You get some great deals, you pay no more, and it just helps keep the channel going. If you haven't yet subscribed, well, click on the little round picture that's sort of round here. And for a few other little videos, well, we've got the Koo TF1 triathlon bike up there. We've got Hoka's Rocket X2 carbon running shoes up there. And we've got Physique's Transero Aeroweave long name triathlon bike shoe just down there. Many thanks for watching.